Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived. One more time, let's get it in, y'all. Uh, let's see here. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is uh, <clears throat> Watchman Derek Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the Early What I See to Sweet Study and Prayer Line. On this 10th day in May 2021. Uh, Mr. Woods, good to see you on, sir. Good to see you on. Yosef is in the building, as usual, elder up in here. Your Matty Yahoo, my big sister Fee, in the place to be. We got Trenda, <coughs> Trenda in the house, and uh, Colt Don Deems. We got my son, Nilly Bo, up in here. As y'all come in, feel free to work your tag game and your share game. Tag game is so cool because. You're taking the time to specifically invite folk on in. So those of you that got a tag game, it's a good tool to go witnessing, to share, share the best array of the gospel with your loved ones. I'm Rhonda. Good to see you on. Cold tag game coming from Dave. His tag game so cold. <clears throat> Y'all work, work on your tag game. If you ain't got one, work on one. For the most high, let him use you. Uh, let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Let's go to Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians this morning. What's up, family member? Second uh, Corinthians ten. Second Corinthians ten. Um. Ten and four. Start the four first. <clears throat> Look what they say, y'all. For the weapons of our warfare, right, <clears throat> are not carnal, but mighty through Yah to the pulling down of strongholds. The weapons of our warfare. Their, their weapons, I, I really wish y'all get this. I'm teaching it to try to, to teach you something. Listen to this. They're literally weapons. There's literally a war going on. And so we have weapons to fight with. The weapons of our warfare because we're at war. Call Rita B, good to see you on. We're at war. So we got we got weapons and it's a warfare, and the type of weapons we're dealing with are not carnal. If you have revelation, you understand that the weapons of all warfare is the word. Everything he he created, he created by his word. And then and then and then man fell in, in the sin. He breathed a breath of life in him, which was his word, and, and then the man, man mankind fell in the sin. <clears throat> So now we need to be recreated by the word. Y'all heard that? We need to be born again by the word, the incorruptible seed. We need to be born all over again, this time by the word. We're going through a mind renewal process through the word. Yeah. That's the weapon of our warfare. It's not carnal. The word is not carnal. We are carnal. Not the word. The word, if we allow the word to come in, is going to change us from being carnal. And then we're going to walk in the spirit because we're going to follow and obey the word. We're going to follow and obey the word if we believe the word. Good to see you on, Beverly. <coughs> Are y'all with me? So listen. For the weapons, weapons, y'all. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal. 
listen, but the weapons, our weapons, are mighty through Yah. He's back in his word. Get deeper. He is the word. Not only is he back in the word, he's back in the word because he is the word. So the weapons, weapons of our warfare, you got to fight to be saved. You got to fight to endure to the end. Yeah. We're going through the mind renewal process through the word. Let me get deeper. <clears throat> We have a way of seeing things and doing things. You know what this word said about it, right? It said there's a way that seem right to a man, but the end thereof is the ways of death. There's a way to seem right to a man. The way we do things. Our decisions that we make. Right? Our, the decisions that we make, they seem right to us. That's why we made it. How we live our lives and the things that we do, the decisions we make, we agree with the decision. That's why we made it. Lo and behold, the word disagrees with your decisions. Now, there's a way to seem right unto a man. You agree with your decisions. You're pretty comfortable with how you get down, how you respond. You're pretty comfortable. You, you got people that are not faithful to Yah. They're in and out. And when they so-called physically around Yah, they don't, still don't do what he say. Demeanor, good to see you on. <clears throat> the word tells you not to forsake the assembly. He wants you to be faithful because every day is the classroom. We understand going to classrooms when it comes to becoming a doctor and a lawyer starting a business, taking classes to open up our little companies and all that type. We understand that. But when it comes to Yah, we're definitely not faithful to the process. He said forsake not the assembly. To someone carnal minded, they ain't going to do it. They'll do it a little bit every now and then. They'll do it, then they'll stop, then they'll do it, then they'll stop. Because there's a way to seem right onto a man. But the end thereof is the ways of death. There's a, there's a way to seem right to a man. This is what I'm finna do today. Oh, you ain't going simple? Nah, not today. I'm finna go do this. I'll get back at it in a couple of weeks. It's summer now. I'm finna, I'm finna work out, put on my bathing suit, whatever. Right? There's a way to seem right to a man. I'm gonna smoke this. I'm gonna drink this. This is this is what I'm gonna do, a whole a whole plan, a whole way of governing oneself. I get it. I'm human too. But get this: <clears throat> when we get saved, did you know you went to war against your evil nature because your evil nature is going against your Elohim? Did you know when you when you when you confess the Messiah? As Lord of your life, as Adonai of your life, you made the word. Remember the, remember, the Messiah is the word made flesh. And if you try to follow his flesh, he say, no, follow Yah, follow the word. Rich young ruler called him good. He said, no, there's none good but the word, but Yah. Yah is the word. In the beginning was the word, the word was with Yah, the word was Yah. So we're switching from our human way of living to obeying the word because our human nature is sinful. <clears throat> so when you accept the most high into your life, you accept the word into your life, and now you got to start fighting using the sword of the spirit, which is the word of Yah. For the weapons, the sword, why do you think they call the word a sword? Because it's a weapon. For the weapons of our warfare, and you're at war against your stinking thinking. If you mess around and get the word, it takes you through a mind renewal process. That's why Shaul, they call him Paul, y'all. But Paul said the weapon, uh, 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 um, 
Uh uh. <laughs> what is that? You gotta be kidding me. I gotta go look at it. Cause it just left me. Is that crazy? Devil can't win this. I'm gonna go to the scripture. All I gotta do is look at it just to remember. I beseech you, therefore, brother, right? By the mercy of Yah, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. Holding except from the Yah and it's your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You're going through a transformation process. What's the transformation? You're switching from your stinking thinking to what the words say. Are you with me? You're switching your mindset. I know what I used to would have did. I know what I feel like doing. I know I thought this was the best thing to do, but the word disagrees. So I'm rolling with the word. I live my whole life my way until the word came, till the gospel came, which is the word. And now I have accepted the word as my way of life. I have switched to obeying the most high and his word. <clears throat> I do what he say. He say, I obey, right? It's a war. It's a fight to do that. Your sinful nature still want to sleep with them, still want to cuss them out. Your evil nature still want to get drunk and high. Your evil nature want to do what he want to do. Self-preservation. You ain't down with y'all's business. You down with your business. And you've proven it to yourself. We can talk this religious talk if you want to, but a lot of people has proven that they down with their carnal nature. They not going to submit to them. Oh, that's sad. That's a sad state to be in, to be honest with you. But I'm going to keep teaching and reaching. Is that all right? Let me do that. I'm going to keep, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep uh, 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 teaching and reaching, right? Because to tell you the truth, <clears throat> the word is trying to deliver you from you, right? Real talk. And, and, and for the word to take over your life, you fighting against it. So, so the believer is given the power and authority over themselves. Word right here got a whole game plan to lead you back in the, to lead you back into relation with the Most High. The Word, the Word will literally lead you back into a perfect relation with the Most High and deliver you from this present evil world. That's what the Word came to do. That's why the world was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Uh, John 1 and 14. That's why it did. It was, it was found fashioned as a man, Philippians the second chapter. The word was found fashioned as a man to come rescue us, to get us off of our carnal, uh, human way of living. Because the way we're living is the Adam living that fallen nature, sinful living, the word came to interrupt that lifestyle that leads to death. That leads to what we see in now. Super wickedness. Super lustfulness. Funny style. Just wick people are just us. You know folks ain't cool. Use a people. You know, you know we ain't cool. We need to be rescued through the most high. What's his method? Through the word. Are we gonna cooperate? No. Well then the war is on. This is a war zone. Because of our wicked nature. And some folks is captured by their own stinking thinking. They capture, I'm telling you. I know folks that be in the presence of Yah, but they captured by their nature. They'll never do what Yah say. They just don't. They'll agree. They'll listen. They'll agree and they'll listen, but they ain't going to do it. They stuck. And then the flesh has a way of taking up for itself. <laughs> the evil nature say, oh. <laughs> Word come, evil nature say, oh, man, yeah, I didn't listen to that. 
For the weapons. That's why it's weapons. Did you know the gospel was death, burial, resurrection? We sure was jumping for joy when we, when we thought it was just the Messiah's death, didn't we? We liked it that, didn't we? Oh, we a believer in his death. G good to see you, niece. Oh, 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 we love it. We, look, you, who wouldn't accept it? I'm a sinner saved by grace. And what saved me was the blood of Jesus. <laughs> we like that. Then you found out that you're going to have to die. Then you found out you're going to, yeah. Then you found out you're going to have to die. Keep studying, you'll find out his name is Yahushua too. Or Yeshua, however you like to pronounce it. But you, you, the, the bad news that wasn't so much as uh, his name is Yahushua. The bad news was you got to die. You can't. Jesus did it all. No, 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 no. You got to do something. You got to die. Romans the sixth chapter say we were baptized in his death, and like as he was raised up by the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death. We should be also in the likeness of his resurrection. We waiting on the resurrection, but you had to be baptized to his death. And your flesh don't want to die. Your flesh want to go screw. Don't you play like you don't like to screw. Don't get funny. Now, even old women like to screw. Oh, I'm preaching. I don't care. Old men like it. Come on. Yeah, folks want to go screw. Fo 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 folks want to go do them. Folks trying to get that car and that business. Y'all's business? Man, I ain't tripping off that. Y'all got his own business. <laughs> y'all handle his. I'm trying to get y'all to handle my business with me. Hey, hey, the Messiah said, I'm, I'm, I'm about my father's business. We'd be like, I'm about my business, and I'm trying to get y'all to buy into my business so it can be successful. And it's a war to get folks to change their mind. I'm talking about it's a war. And the cold part about it is a whole lot of so-called believers is losing the war. And it's painful to watch. To see a bunch of religious folks. They got a form of yawliness denying the power thereof. I love to preach some happy stuff, but folks is goofy. I love to preach the victory. I'm on my way to heaven, or we all on our way to heaven, and we all so glad, but it's not true. Folks will listen to the word. They just ain't going to do it. Why? Because they losing the war. Some folks waved the white flag a long time ago. Some folks came to him and found out that they couldn't sleep with, uh, with, 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 with such and such and so and so in them. They quit right there. Some folks found out they had to put down dope. And stop getting drunk. They, they, as soon as they checked in, they checked out. But they've still been around for the last 10, 20, 30, 40 years. Around turning into a religious mess. Oh yeah, we're going to talk today. <clears throat> Turned into a religious mess. Because they, they're going to confess with their mouth, but they ain't going to do it. It, it. Everyone that's doing what he say do is because they... Fighting the war. That's why I say fight the good fight of faith. Because there's a war going on around here. Folks is keeping their clothes on because they fighting. Folks ain't running around here uh, single uh, uh, and not sleeping with nobody uh, uh, because, because that's really what they flesh want to do. That brother or that sister went to war. With themselves. Jokers, they go witness. Go witnessing. Go feed people. Folks, they give. <laughs> you think that folks just want to give away their money? Folks think I just like giving away my money. You think what you want to think. I, I do give it away, though. <laughs> Believe that. <laughs> and it's a war. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Because you because you gotta you gotta go to war. But mighty through Yah, he backs his word. He don't want to he don't want to get a word, it's power, it's Yah. Because Yah is the word, and, and the word has his power. 
So what made the word strong? Yah, mighty through Yah to do what? Pull down strongholds. Yeah, pull down strongholds. What's the stronghold? The stuff you do? Or the stuff that you refuse to do, that he told you to do? You ain't doing it because it's a stronghold. You like porno because it's a stronghold. You're not faithful to Yah because it's a stronghold. You like to fight because it's a stronghold. You won't be faithful to Yah because it's a stronghold. You like to look religious around folks and talk all that slick stuff, but as soon as the... <laughs> yeah, turn off the camera. <laughs> Turn off the lights, close the door, and use a rascal. Because it's a stronghold. Something got you. Devil has snatched you. No kidding nothing about it. In fact, he like it. He like a fake religious dude. He, devil, he love a fake religious woman. He love it. He love it. He wants you to scream hallelujah la. He wants you to get the t-shirt. He wants you to use his real name <laughs> so he can defame his name through you. You ain't going to do nothing. <laughs> it's good. Some folks like, you know, chime in and just quiet. <laughs> they, 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 don't, they don't be in contact because they know ain't going to do nothing. They know they know ain't finna do with y'all, right? So they just slide on in quietly. Give me a little call. You know how... You got, you got some folks, when we was physically fellowshipping more, you know those that sit way in the back by the door? Yeah, they can see all the butts in the building. They can see who wearing what and all that. They can pick somebody they're going to try to fornicate with in the, in, in, in the ministry. They just sit way in the back. You got folks that digitally sit in the back, too. They know how to sit way in the back. They ain't going to ch chime in, text, not, oh, I'm going to preach. You call in here, I'm going to try to help you. Hey, look, if you do bust hell wide open, it ain't because I didn't try to help you. Because I didn't tell you. Because I didn't warn you. Because you know what? Let me tell you something. The word came and is trying to deliver you. That's what the word came to do. The, the word came to deliver me from me. Period. Nobody else. The word came to deliver you from you and me from me. Period. The world came to get in your personal life because your personal life will cause you to go straight to hell. Yeah. Will call you to go straight to hell. Did you know the world will draw you or drive you? Did y'all know that? The world will draw you dear. He said, come near. And then what it's going to do, if you come near, it's going to burn off everything that ain't like y'all that's in you. It's going to come in and tear it up. You know them parable when he said, I stood at the door and knocked. The word, that was the word knocking at the door. He said, if any man hear, that's why he said hear, because it's the word. If it ain't the word, you can't hear it. He said, I stood at the door and knocked. If any man hear, at here, you're going to open up and let the word in. And then he's going to clean you up. He's going to drive out everything that's not like Yah that's inside of you. Folks heard the word, open up, let him in. He got this talking about you, you, you can't sleep with them and you can't be getting drunk and high. They took the word, get up out of here. The parable of that was when, when the Mashiach went into the temple. And they turned, they turned his house into a, a platform uh, uh, to get money, a platform of business and all that. Folks love to say uh, 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 the church is a business. You're right. <laughs> That's the code. That's, the, 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 the Mashiach came in and drove them jokers out of there. It's not like money ain't supposed to come in because it is. But it ain't, it, 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 it ain't got to come in. It shouldn't have to come in through business. That's not, that, uh uh. We're supposed to be about your father's business. If folks came in and was given and, and, and being about the father's business, you wouldn't have to turn it into a business. And you shouldn't turn it into a business even if the jokers don't handle y'all's business. You handle y'all's business then. Because he's going to take care of his. Period. 
But the word, the 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 the, the physical, he always have a physical, you know, like fringes, right? Fringes means that you're gonna remember the word and keep it. <laughs> well, the scripture that the spiritual scripture for that is thy word if I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. That takes the place of a of a, some thread hanging. <laughs> And, and 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 him uh, 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 coming, uh, uh, he stood at the door and knocked. If you open up, he'll come in, and he'll sup with you. What he'll do, he'll he'll come in and do exactly what the Mashiach did when he went to the temple, and he drove those money exchangers out. The world will come into your life and drive out every thought, every wicked habit. Every lustful, scandalous thing that you doing, the word, if he stood at the door and knocked, you heard and let him in, he going to dry that stuff out. Unfortunately, a lot of people drive the word out. That's what uh, Mark 4 was talking about. Said, said eventually the deceitfulness of, 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 of riches and the cares of this life choked the word and then the individual became unfruitful. You wanted to screw so bad, you wanted to get drunk so bad, you into self-preservation so bad, you running your little company, doing your little thing, trying to get your little chick or your little man, and do you, and so the word is sitting over there trying to tell you what to do, and, and your desires just jump the word, and choked him out of your life. You can't kill the word, y'all, but you can kill him out of your life. And the word is the resurrection. You kill the word out your life, he ain't raising you up. But to damnation, but to destruction. So you got to understand, the word is trying to deliver. That's what it came for. Those that are carnal, that don't live right, right? They get offended with preaching like this. They should. Because the carnal mind is enmity against what I'm saying. That natural mind don't like what I'm saying. Because that natural mind don't like the word. But those that have gained power over their flesh... They like this because this is exactly what they do. And they at war. I'm telling you, they fighting. The words say fight the good fight of faith. <laughs> they fighting. They, 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 they ready to duke it out. Come on. Talk back to me. For, for, for the weapons. Listen to the language. Second Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons. Young, I'm here is here. Good to see you all. For the weapons of our warfare. It's weapons. I'm talking like we're at war, ain't I? You think I'm talking like this just to do it? It's wartime. This is a war zone and it's on. For the weapons of a warfare are not carnal. No, it's not like us. This is a spiritual thing. We need to switch from being carnal to spiritual. We need to learn how to rightly divide the word spiritually, not naturally. Folks running around here with, with physical commandments. <laughs> What was the meaning? What was the meaning? You won't know the meaning if you ain't got the Mashiach. Because all that stuff was aiming towards the coming of the, uh, uh, of the Mashiach. <laughs> of the word coming flesh. And if you if you don't have that part, then you're going to be stuck doing physical rituals. Thinking that is, come on, yeah, I know. You're going to think it's spiritual. You're you, you, you going to think literally that a beard and some fringes can save you. You believe that. And you believe it wholeheartedly. <laughs> Whatever. For the weapons, it's a warfare going on. You got to understand the beginning of the problem. The problem was Adam went against the Most High. He disobeyed him. That's why death came on the scene. You don't know that? So the answer to, 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 to Adam uh, 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 sin is a fringe and, and, and a beard. And a carnal, come on, are you serious? Yeah, are you serious, huh? Yeah. Well, well. For the weapons, of, it's a war. Mashiach went to war. Mashiach went to war with the religious folks. Why ain't you keeping the Sabbath? Said Joker, if you had an animal fall in the hole, which one of y'all wouldn't go get it? Get up out of here with that. For the weapons of our warfare, right? It's weapons. <laughs> For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Mashiach said, oh yeah, rest in me. You don't understand that when you kick the Mashiach out. You stuck. Stuck like Chuck. For the weapons of our warfare, not carnal. They're not carnal. Not at all. It's completely spiritual. 
but mighty through Yah. Because Yah is the word. It was the voice walking in the garden when Adam and Eve ran. It was the voice of Yah walking. It wasn't no 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 person. It wasn't no no flesh. It was the word of Yah walking in the garden. It was the voice in, in Genesis the third chapter. It was the voice of Yah and they broke and ran because they just went against the word. Which brought in death. So the word came down 42 generations from, from Abraham to the birth or 75 generations from Adam to the birth to, 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 to rescue us from ourselves, to, to be re acquainted with, his, with the believer, with his children. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through Yah. And what is it going to do if you let it in? It's going to pull down stronghold. It's going to set you free if you're spiritual enough. If there's anything, listen, I want you to hear this closely too. If the word come in your life and there's anything in your life that you like more than the word, this is what's going to happen. You let the word in, right? He stood at the door and knocked. You open up. You let the word in. And then the word messed around and went into your piggy bank and looked at your piggy bank. And if that piggy bank is more important then the word, you're going to kick the word out. Yeah, your piggy bank. Straight up. Some folks got a, got a stronghold with their with they pocketbook. Is it, is, it, is it a coincidence that the, the, the word said you can't serve two masters? Mammon. It was talking about money. Mammon and Yah. Why did it say that? Because some folks, Elohim is their money. And, and money is a resource. The real source is Yah. What you going to do when they dry it up? What you going to do when they offer the mark of the beast? And you can't buy or sell unless you accept it. Those who Elohim is money, they're going to get the mark, period. They was already marked to get the mark because the, the money been their Elohim the whole time. What happens when the word come in your life and then it, it, you let it in and then they want to go into your bedroom? Because you's a joker in the bedroom, boy. Boy, you like some bedroom activity, do you? Oh, a few people can come on up in your bedroom. The more the merrier, you know. You might have a little dog up in there howling. Little poor little chihuahua. Got to handle all that pressure. Come on in here, puppy. <laughs> come on, Rex. <laughs> you next. Yeah, yeah, the word come and try to go in your bedroom. If you have anything in your life that's more important than the words, oh, the word got to get up out of here. Can't stay up in here. You're all in my mix. You in my bedroom. You trying to get in my wallet, my purse. Come on, talk. Try to, mm -mm, I can't deal with a ministry like this. I just need to know that Jesus did it all and I'm on my way to heaven and I'm so glad, you religious joker. Look what the word do. I'm going to tell you, I'm telling you what the word do. Like it or not. This is what's happening. This is why the word came. Fifth first, it's going to come into your life and it's going to cast down imaginations. What you imagine it? Oh, I see myself in a big old wicker chair. Yeah, yeah, a big old wicked chair and big old fans fanning me and some big old buff glistening, just glistening in the sun, buff brothers just fanning me and they, all they got on is thongs, thongs with these big old grapes and I'm biting and drinking. I, when I bite the grapes so fat and juicy, when I bite it, I almost choke. I got to hurry up and drink while I'm biting and chewing and oh. I'm on the Bahamas. Your stanky imagination, your your revenge imagination of cutting somebody's throat. You caught them slipping, you slid up and just slit their throat. How how they hurt you and how how you the victim and poor little me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word will come in and cast down imaginations of you getting revenge. Or you being or you being the 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 the, 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 the main guest at the orgy. Everything at the orgy is surrounded around you. You came into the strip club. You imagine you came in in the strip club with a satin pillowcase full of one dollar bills, and everybody in there just surrounded you, start pouring drinks down your throat and rubbing on you. 
You talking about a lap dance? <laughs> Casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah. You stingy jokers. It's going to cast down everything that exalts itself. You revenge folks. You poor little me folk. You, what about me? What about me? Yeah. The world going to come in and attack what's attacking you. But unfortunately, we fall in love with the enemy. We fall in love with thoughts that's been killing us our whole lives. Wicked thoughts entangle you. The world come in to rescue you from you. Casting that, what is he going to do? He's going to cast it down. Your stinking thinking, how you look at it, how you see it, how you feel about it, what you doing, what you pursuing. The world going to come in and ruin it to set you free, to try to rescue you. So it's going to come in and cast down imagination and every high thing. What's the high thing? Things that you do. Habits. Word comes straight for that. Word comes straight. I'm talking about straightforward too. The word come in your life and find another Elohim, a God that you got inside of you. Something, somebody that's so important to you that you'll go against Yah. You'll go against the word for them. That's exactly who the word coming into your life to see. If you don't do what I say, you're going to do what they say. If they hurt your feelings, you definitely going against me. If they say something you don't, you don't like, I can't tell you nothing. Because they your Elohim. They way more important. Your success. Some folks is in carnal school. They ain't got time for the word. They so much in school. Because school rule. Because they believe school going to bring them money. They real God. Yeah. They, 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 they got so many classes. You ain't never took no, so, so many classes to learn the Bible. You ain't never took that many classes to learn the word. You ain't never spent a tenth of the time you do in secular textbooks in the Bible and in the word. Because you're in high pursuit of seeking to save your life here on the Titanic that's sinking. You'd rather believe it's not sinking or you'd rather believe it's not sinking yet. So you're going to neglect your soul. What would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? I'm out of time, y'all. And I ain't even near finished. <laughs> But what would it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what would a man give in exchange for his soul? When the word come in, you'll find out what a person would give for their soul, give in exchange for their soul. Because the word going to come straight for anything, any stronghold that's in your life. He's going to come to try to cast it out of your life to set you free. Because whom Yah has set free is free indeed. He'll free you from, from your stinking thinking, your faults, your desires, and your goals that's trying to kill you. This life ain't nothing but a vapor of smoke which appear for a moment and vanish away. Ain't nothing in this world worth more, more valuable than your relationship with Yah. Period. The most important thing you got is, is the word. If you got it. I gotta go. Because we is out of time. So casting down imagination and every high thing that exalts itself gets the knowledge of Yah and bringing the captivity, the power of the word will bring captivity every thought. Your thinking is super important to the obedience of the Mashiach. And the Mashiach is the word, y'all. He used to be the word made flesh, but the flesh died on the tree for you and me. Rose again with all power, and he came back down without the flesh to be baptized inside of us to rescue us. Uh huh. Yeah. Because the word came trying to deliver us from us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The word is trying to deliver you from you. You gonna let it? <laughs> the believer is. Those that love the word more than anything or anybody. That's why he said, you got to love me with all your heart, my soul, and strength. He didn't say that because of ego tripping. You got to love the word more than anything or than anything going to take control of your life and destroy you. Let the word do its job because it came to deliver you. That's what it's trying to do. I say, let it. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you 
for the sermon that spiritual breakfast that we so desperately need word come and comb through our attitude and our responses and our moods <laughs> the word come and get all in our face <laughs> Uh, either we're going to let the word do its job or we're going to be damned. Ruach HaKadosh, spirit of the living word, come in, have your way. We surrender all. We quit. We submit to you. Save us from ourselves. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matches name Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. And Amon. That was the lesson for this morning. Either you glad and closer to him or you mad and still stuck. Completely up to you. Believe or celebrate because he's a deliverer and he's going to cast down every thought. He's going to bring every thought into the obedience of the word for your salvation. Is that all right? Push the share button. If y'all agree, push the share button. That's it. That, 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 was, that was the lesson. Y'all push the share button. Thank everybody that supports this ministry. Uh, I should say thank you because that means you're delivered in that area as well. <laughs> uh, I say thank you. May the Most High continue continue to bless you. Um, if you're being blessed by this ministry uh, and would like to become a supporter, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash app, just put in dollar sign donate to Derek. That's dollar sign donate the number two D E R R I C K. If you like PayPal, you can go to PayPal.me forward slash Derek Israel, D-E-R-R-I-C-K-Y-I-S-R-A-E-L. Or you can go inside of my Facebook page, inside of Messenger, and there's a giving button inside of that. If you have time for more, want to talk about the lesson that just went forth, all you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 815648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815648, and we can talk about it. Other than that, uh, the leadership class starts tonight. If you want to be a part, you have to email me at I am Derek Israel at gmail.com. I am Derek Israel at gmail.com. And Israel's with a Y. Is that all right? Email me so I can have your email address because today I'm going to be uh, emailing everyone to email me the information to get into the Zoom meeting. Is that all right? Y'all be Baruch and Brock and Shalom. I'm gone.